Move over chat GPT, Meta's Llama and Google's Gemini. There's a new AI chatbot in town. It's called DeepSeek. It is made by the Chinese. It has taken the world by storm and also shaken the markets. On Monday, that is yesterday, United States' stock exchange Nasdaq, the index, dropped by 3.1%. Its biggest one-day percentage drop since the 18th of December. One trillion dollars has been wiped out from the leading US tech index in one day. Now, big tech stocks also took a severe beating and chip maker NVIDIA was the worst. Its stocks were down 17.4% and $593 billion of its market value was wiped out, which is a record one-day loss for any company in history. Meanwhile, ChatGPT backer Microsoft fell 2.1% and Google parent Alphabet ended down 4.2%. The world's 500 richest people, led by NVIDIA co-founder Jensen Huang, lost a combined $108 billion worth of wealth. Japan's tech-heavy Nikkei 225 index saw a decline of 1.4% today. DeepSeek is already topping download charts on Google Play Store and the iOS Store. One investor even called it a Sputnik moment for the world's AI superpowers. There are talks of a new dimension being added to the tech war between the US and China. Investors and experts in Washington have begun wondering whether AI firms in US are overvalued. And users have of course latched on to check out this new chatbot. But how did this relatively unknown entity suddenly grab headlines? Here's all you need to know about the newest entrant in the AI chatbot club. Hello and welcome, I'm Shubham Chahan. Let's get started. Now, DeepSeek was founded in late 2023 by Chinese hedge fund manager Liang Wenfeng. He's now being called the Sam Altman of China. Sam Altman is the CEO of OpenAI, which made ChatGPT. Over the last year, DeepSea came out with some competitive AI models that did generate some buzz in the AI space. But the breakthrough model came out of nowhere late last year. It's called R1. This is said to be as good as the latest and powerful available AI systems like the OpenAI O1 and the Anthropic Claude, thereby making DeepSeek a direct competitor of ChatGPT, among others. Now, there are some other features that also make DeepSeek stand out. For starters, DeepSeek's latest AI chatbot is open source, meaning it is free and its code is transparent for others to see. Now, the next one is what is surprising everyone. DeepSeek claims it took just two months to develop this AI model using NVIDIA's less advanced H800 chips and at a cost of $5.6 million. For context, Meta in US plans to spend up to $65 billion this year to power its AI goals. Some analysts estimate big US cloud companies will spend about $250 billion this year on AI infrastructure alone. Google, Microsoft and Amazon all have earmarked billions of dollars for data centers and infra projects going forward. As for DeepSeek, experts say that its cost claim could likely be an underestimate. But still, it's way below the billions of dollars that companies in the US are spending. Now, for the last couple of years, Washington has been restricting China's access to top critical technology that could be used to possibly make such AI models. It is cited, that is, US has cited national security risk as the reason for the same. Now, NVIDIA responded by designing new semiconductors for the Chinese market, including those DeepSeek, likely used to build R1. In a paper published recently, DeepSeek said it trained its AI model using about 2,000 of NVIDIA's H800 chips. These chips are less powerful versions of NVIDIA's flagship H100 GPUs. US AI companies have spent billions buying the latest NVIDIA chips to make their own AI programs. Now, with one stroke, this Chinese company has shattered the perception built by US tech giants that billions of dollars are necessary to build an AI model. So, in simple words, China has come up with a free-to-use, way cheaper to make, and perhaps a potent alternative to the likes of ChatGPT, Meta's Llama, and Google's Gemini. Those who actively track and invest in this space in Washington see this as a challenge to US's dominance in the tech space, more specifically the AI space. Interestingly, the Chinese company is among the first ones to be praised by the US tech industry, like OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. In a tweet this morning, Altman said, DeepSeek's R1 is an impressive model, particularly around what they're able to deliver for the price. We will obviously deliver much better models, and also it's legit invigorating to have a new competitor. We will pull up some releases, but mostly we are excited to continue to execute on our research roadmap and believe more compute is more important now than ever before to succeed at our mission. The world is going to want to use a lot of AI and really be quite amazed by the next-gen models coming. Look forward to bringing you all AGI and beyond. US President Donald Trump also spoke on the subject last night, calling it a wake-up call for America. Here's what he said. The release of DeepSeek AI from 
A Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on competing to win, because we have the greatest scientists in the world. Even Chinese leadership told me that. They said, you have the most brilliant scientists in the world in Seattle and various places, but uh, Silicon Valley, they said, there's nobody like those people. This is very unusual when you hear a deep seek, when you hear somebody, somebody come up with something. We always have the ideas, we're always first. So I would say that's a positive. That could be very much a positive development. So instead of spending billions and billions, you'll spend less and you'll come up with hopefully the same solution under the trumpet. Now, deep seek has become an instant hit among the masses. It has a website and an app. It is currently the number one free app on the Apple Play Store in US and 51 other countries. DeepSeek is among the top 10 free apps in 111 countries on the App Store and in 18 countries on Google Play Store. Reports say DeepSeek has also overtaken ChatGPT on Apple's App Store rankings. China is obviously the largest mobile app market for DeepSeek today. It represents 23% of its total downloads. The app's second and third largest markets are the United States, which makes up 15% of its total downloads, and Egypt, which makes up 6% of its total downloads. In fact, amid the download surge, DeepSeek said that it had been targeted by a cyber attack. It said there was a large-scale malicious attack, and thereby it was disrupting new user registrations on its platform. And that was subsequently sorted. Users went all out testing the new AI toy. Now, the login process is fairly straightforward. One can log in with their email IDs and sign up as per the process. And once you are in, the interface is similar to that of ChatGPT. Many on social media say it responded well to solving some complex mathematical problems. But since it's a Chinese AI bot we are talking about, restrictions were an obvious. When we asked DeepSeek about controversial subjects like the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests or China's dictatorial regime, it had a standard response. That is, sorry, that's beyond my current scope, let's talk about something else. Or the responses were on similar lines, basically sidestepping controversial questions on China. Now, surely DeepSeek has created a frenzy. It has proved that a low-cost AI model can be built, even without the most high-end tech at your disposal. Now, it remains to be seen whether DeepSeek's success is a flash in the pan, or whether it has the appetite to take on the already established players like ChatGPT in this fascinating world of artificial intelligence. That's all we have for this report. Do like and share this video, comment and let us know what your views are. And of course, subscribe to HW News English on YouTube for more such videos. Thanks for watching. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.